right guys welcome in our another interview video today i am here with a very special and unique guest hello olivia pohanklova Hi. olivia Hi. thank you so much that you managed to find time for us and for this interview um olivia is well known bikini fitness athlete in uh, slovakia and i suppose also in other countries you have managed to win two times arnold classic three times you are Vice, Vice champion, champion. Of and the actually, world. I don't remember all the other ones, the competitions, and all this stuff. But uh, it sounds so strange to me because yeah. now I am fit mom, and uh -huh. it sounds so strange when you say uh, bikini fitness. It's like yeah. it's a uh, past. Yeah, it's past. <laughs> but still, why I said it? It's because you can imagine that Olivia has plenty of experience, and she is really relevant source of information that we can rely on. And I'm really glad that you mentioned that you are a fit mom because that's something I'm going to ask uh, questions Olivia about because normally people would do interview with you about how to train, what food to eat, nutrition and these kind of things, right? About competitions, but we want to be different and I want to ask you about your life with baby, how you can combine it with, uh, with, with fitness. So, are you ready? Yeah. Actually, sometimes it's really hard because right now it's uh, my son Michael is eight months uh, old, and uh, it's uh, it's different. I'm waking up earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, waking up in the night, so sometimes I don't have that much energy. But I'm all the time trying to push myself in a, into training when I have my time. So I. I would lie if I say I can train uh, every day as before. Uh -huh. So mostly I'm training like two times in a week. I'm happy then, uh, but I'm still trying to do the best what I can in a training session. So uh, I'm still fit, but I'm not fitness. Yeah, Let's say are, it like that. You <laughs> are fit, I can tell. Um, but you already managed to answer one of my questions. Um, but first question I would like to ask you, what is like the biggest change that you noticed in your life before a baby and with baby except Michael himself of course but when it comes to fitness when it comes to fitness it's like uh, I would mention f at first uh, food because I think uh, mm. that's a huge part of uh, fitness life so before I was always um, trying to prepare my meals and think about what I, I will eat and stuff like that. And right now it's more like I'm thinking about what Michael is gonna eat, uh, what uh, is the best uh, variation of food. So it's always like first comes the child and then comes me. So on one side it's uh, amazing because uh, I think we are made for this, all women are made for this. But the second time it's like sometimes I, I miss the all that preparing and all that uh, training so I can really uh, take care about my body I'm, I mean I'm still doing that but not as much as I did before so it's like uh, yeah I'm second I have to say your <laughs> English is pretty good I didn't expect that you're gonna be so so fluent in it and you're gonna get this long answers yeah, so. sorry sorry I can <laughs> no, be that's, that, that's great um, you mentioned that now the first is child and then you are on the second place which was which is a huge change as, as, as you described because before you were incredibly active on social media pictures cooperations and this kind of stuff and all of a the sudden there's olivia not cooperating private instagram and this kind of thing so it really proves that you go all in for your baby is it like natural you feel for it yeah, actually, uh, it was from the day one when Michael was born. It was like I was thinking about okay, so some girls, some fit girls, are doing like uh, are going on a bed with the uh, fitness and baby together. So they are presenting a baby and uh, what what he's doing, what uh, e everything about baby. And I was thinking about okay. Is this really what I want? Do I want to continue this way? And I was from day first, I, I felt it like, no, I want to really keep Michael uh, for me. And it's not like uh, I don't want to share anything with nobody. It's like uh, when a mother or when a woman become a mother, uh, it's different. It, it, it closed the, 
it's like uh, we are more into family into privacy and it's not like I want to share everything as before and uh, before I was living uh, in on, only in fitness world that was everything for me and right now it changed into family so it's like uh, I think it doesn't fit together for some women yes because they are still con they are still going on with the Instagram and uh, work as a fitness uh, motivator or influencer but I'm not that anymore so you don't belong into this group of people that take advantage of having baby or somebody even purchase a dog just because they get more and more engagement rate yeah. more likes oh that's so yeah. cute you don't belong into this group of people you want to focus on your child yeah. and I believe that that's pretty good but what I want to say is like I'm uh, it's not like I want to judge women which are doing that because I really like, I love to watch uh, other women to have baby and show all the advices and stuff like that. So I'm, I like it because I can watch it, but it's not like my style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you don't feel comfortable with it. And yeah. that, that's normal, I guess. Um, until how many uh, months of pregnancy did you actually manage to train? This was, I, I think I was training till end, it's like uh, really? in, 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 even in ninth month I was still training just with the body weight, uh, not heavy because I think it's not good. But your movements but had to be really like limited, like... Uh, on, on actually I didn't have that, that big belly, it was uh -huh. really small, everybody was like, okay you can be in fifth or sixth month, this can be yeah. ninth month, yeah. so I, I would say... I can say I'm like a girl, so uh, it was uh, really easy to still train to the squats, lunges. Okay, lunges were pretty <laughs> tough at the end. I couldn't run uh, I since uh, fourth or fifth month, but yeah, the rest was like. So you were pretty fit even during your pregnancy in your ninth month. Yeah. Uh, what would you? What would be your recommendation to all the females that are planning to have baby or are pregnant at the moment? and they would like to get back to form as soon as possible after they give birth uh, what should they do um, before mm -hmm. they give birth and what should they do after i would say uh, before when they get pregnant mm -hmm. because there are many many women which are not able to get pregnant so i think it's really important maybe to slow down uh, do less training session a week, eat more fats, carbs, and easy, easy, just calm down. And then through pregnancy, I think it's really important uh, because there are many women which are like, okay, now I'm pregnant, I need to eat uh, for two persons, not just only for me, but there, there is another person so I can eat double portions. That's lie. You can't eat uh, that much food because uh, baby is small you don't need that mm -hmm. amount of food so I would say um, if you are really like craving for something sweet or um, some something what you are not uh, normally eating eat it but not like double portion eat I, I don't know for example pancakes if you are really craving for pancakes eat it mm -hmm. on Sunday one portion and that's it don't do like don't do it like uh, okay I will have uh, pancakes on breakfast, lunch and dinner. So just make it like easy, easy. Don't <laughs> eat, eat, eat. Is, because isn't it like incredibly hard during, when you're pregnant? There are like huge emotions going with it and when you have pancake, you can even start to cry, right? Like, oh, sugar. Yeah, actually, I, like I can tell. Super I can tell. emotional. Emotions yeah. are, are horrible in pregnancy. It's like, and after birth also, it's like, uh, I would say after birth, it's even worse, but it's just time. It, it, it's just one year where, where you are uh, not really feeling maybe sometimes comfortable, but that doesn't mean you need to eat all that sweet stuff. That doesn't mean uh, it makes you more happy. So uh, that's why I am saying that that's the, the biggest problem when uh, women are eating, eating because they are thinking now I can and then after birth they are uh, 30 kilo kilograms plus and they don't know how to get back. Yeah. You said it's only one year of your life so no more, no more child for you, no more babies. No, of course, yes. Yes? yes. How, is, how many? I love Michael. Yeah? I don't know, I'm old, I'm 31 so oh, yeah, super I, I, old. I don't Jeez. want to be like uh, 50 years old and 
being pregnant. So yeah. I don't know. I would say mm, women uh, need to have some time between child. So uh, I would not do it like have a child one year, have a child one year, have a child. So two, three, we will see how my body will react, how I will be happy, how I will be satisfied. So I think it's really important to be happy and satisfied and right now I am really happy with my phone, it's so cute. Alright, very nice answer again. So to answer the question what should they do, they should stay active, they should train, they should keep what they eat but yeah. shouldn't go like very very low on yeah. calories before pregnancy and very very high during yeah. the pregnancy. Yeah, I would say it like that. So yeah. there's balance. Yeah, always. Oh, it's always about balance. It's always like sometimes uh, people are saying you can eat McDonald's, you can eat uh, sweet stuff. You can, you just need to know uh, the amount of uh, the Calories. bad food when you oh, can yeah. eat. Yeah. So it's like when you are pregnant, when you are not pregnant, when you are training, when you are not training. So it's all about So can I apply rule 80-20? 80 good macronutrients and 20... I never did it on percent, but it's like, uh, especially when I was pregnant and uh, we were, for example, by somewhere outside and there was uh, like some typical Slovakian food, which normally is really calorie. So I had the taste for it, so I ate it. And it was like, I didn't count it, okay, this is like 20% and then the rest I will go healthy so yeah. it's just like you you are not gonna eat uh, two portions of the of the bad food a day just like small piece of something enjoy life and enjoy these beautiful things that are going on with yeah. your body um, last question and then we have to run over to our store where we're gonna host meet and greet with Olivia but in Slovak language so we won't understand unfortunately <laughs> um, can you substitute home workout for the gym workout or home exercises for the gym exercises? So if I compare it right now, I really prefer a home workout. Really? Because it's much easier with the child because mm -hmm. when I want to go to gym, I need to call my sister or my friend to come and take care. Uh, about him so I don't like that much uh, staying without him so I really prefer uh, stay home he, Michael is sleeping and I bought some stuff home so I can uh, do cardio I can do weight training so really easy and I don't want to have uh, that muscles as before anymore because uh, yeah I feel so good in this body right now I don't need to work so hard for it but I still work a little bit to make me happy yeah. and look good so yeah so I we won't see change. Olivia on the stage ever again actually no 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 because Official. It, it's uh, it's so so amazing to live this life mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to change anything and uh, even I loved comp competing and I was good uh, it's really hard work, it's really hard work and it's not just about if you see bikini girl sometimes you say okay it's about makeup, uh, hair and they no, don't need to train so much but that's not true. I was training always really really hard, dieting really really hard and uh, I think I'm old and I have family, I'm not... Don't not continue, <laughs> <laughs> I would close it as you have successfully, very successfully closed up the first or second chapter of your life and now the new one has started and Olivia we wish you best of luck in your chapter called family uh, you. we highly appreciate that you managed to find time for this interview and if you do appreciate it as well smash the like button and subscribe to this fitness youtube family and see you in the next one thank you and ciao Bye.